So once you've used your curve tool to accurately measure your material thickness, we'll use this piece here as an example. So this example piece measures at 0 0.199 inches. So we're gonna take this measurement and we're gonna adjust our drawing to fit that measurement. And this will allow us to get a perfect fit on our joints. So coming into Lightburn here, we're going to take a look at this example project. And for this example, we're going to show how to resize the rectangles here to accept another piece of material in there and how to resize these slots to accept a piece of material that you measured with your curve tool. So let's take a look at the simple rectangle first. We're gonna zoom in here by using our scroll wheel. And then we're going to select this rectangle. And you can see now we can manually adjust this, but we wanna do an exact measurement. So we're gonna come up to our top panel here and you can see we have the width and the height. Now we're only interested in changing the height so we want to make sure our dimensions are unlocked by making sure we have this unlock symbol here. This will allow us to adjust one measurement at a time. And we also want to make sure our units are in inches. So we can check that over here by this where it says IN will be inches. If we select that again, that'll turn to millimeters. But we want to make sure we are in inches to match our curve tool. So the next thing we want to look at is our anchor point. So you want to select an anchor point in this bounding box here to control where you want to keep your rectangle anchored. So in this case, we're going to keep it anchored in the center. That'll keep it center of our base here. So the only thing we have to do is adjust our height. So we're gonna take our height measurement and adjust this to 0.199 inches to match our curve tool and click enter. And now that adjusted our height here to the exact height we need. So you can see adjusting a rectangle is very easy to do. Now let's take a look at these slots here. Now these are a little bit more complicated because we have to first break these apart from our outer shape, then adjust our height, and then we have to reconnect these all back together. So first to disconnect these, we're going to select our shape here, and then we're gonna select this button here to edit the nodes, so select that. And now you can see we have our nodes here. So if we select one of these nodes, you can see it moves both lines at the same time because they are connected together. So I'm gonna Control Z to undo that. So to break these nodes apart, we're going to first select the node by clicking on it, and then you wanna hover over top of it and type the letter B to break. And now that just broke the corner apart, so if we select our shape again, you can see now it's disconnected there. So I'm gonna undo that to bring that back. Now it looks like this point down here is already broken apart. You can see that by moving there. So we're gonna leave that as is. We're gonna undo that to bring it back. Now we wanna break apart this side, so we're gonna select one of these nodes here, and hover over top and type the letter B to break that. And now we'll select down here. We're gonna select this corner here and then hover over top of that and type the letter B. And now we select our shape here. You can see they are disconnected from the rest of our shape there. And now just like we did with our rectangle, we have the ability to adjust our size up here. So first we wanna select our anchor point wherever you wanna anchor this. So you can anchor this at the top, the bottom or center. So in this case, let's try anchoring at the top. So we'll keep our top position here and it's only gonna adjust the bottom. So we're gonna type in our height here, 0.199 inches and click enter. And you can see that adjusted the bottom there. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here, select our shape, anchor it at the top. We're gonna switch this to 0.199 inches, click enter. And now that adjusted at the bottom, so now our slots are adjusted to the thickness of our material that we measured using our curve tool. So now we wanna connect the shape all back together. So to do that, we're gonna stay in our node editing mode and we're gonna hold our shift key and select our other shapes here. So we're gonna select all the shapes here and then we're gonna zoom in on the corners. And if you just take your node here and click and drag until it snaps to the other one, you can see now that's connected together. And we're gonna do the same thing up here. You can see they are broken apart, but if we click and drag until they snap together, you can see now they're connected. And if we try to move this, both lines move at the same time. So I'm gonna undo that to bring that back. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna click to move it away and then click to bring it back and snap to connect. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Click and drag till it connects. And you can see this one's still green, but if we move this point, you can see they're connected together. So I'll undo that. That just means that this is gonna be your start position where your laser will start. So now we'll zoom out here. 
and you can see that's how you edit the thickness of your slots. Now we'll take a look at how to add additional slots if you'd like to add more to your project. So to do that, we're going to use our rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw a rectangle here about the size we want and it doesn't matter how big, we're just gonna release here. And now we want to adjust the size to the exact size we need. So using our measurements up here in the top panel, we're going to adjust the width Let's say we wanted it half an inch wide, so we'll type in 0 0.5, and we want the thickness 0.199 to match our curve tool. So we'll click enter, and now our slot is adjusted to the exact size we entered there. So now we wanna take this slot and move it right to the edge of our outer shape here, so we can connect these together. So to do that, I'm gonna to switch to our selection tool by clicking this icon up here. And now we have the ability to move this wherever we like. First, we want to adjust the height where we want it. So you can move this up and down however you like. And then we want to move it right to the edge of this outer shape. So to do that with this selected here, we're going to hold our shift key and select our outer shape. Now we have both objects selected. We want to come up here to the top panel here where we have the align selected objects vertically. We want to click this to give our options here and we can align it to the left side, we can align it to the center, or we can align it to the right. In this case, we're gonna align it to the right. So select that, and you can see now we're aligned perfectly there on the right side. And now we just have to connect these together. So to do that, we're gonna zoom in here. And the easiest way I've found to do this, there may be other ways to do this, but I like to select the outer shape there first, go into our node edit mode, and if you hover over this corner here, where they intersect, and we're gonna type in the letter I on your keyboard. That's gonna insert a, a node there. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Hover over this corner and type the letter I to insert a point. Now we wanna delete the line that's spanning in between those two points. So hovering over that line, type the letter D on your keyboard. That's gonna delete that line. And now we have to delete the line from this rectangle. So now we're gonna switch back to our selection mode here. We're gonna select our rectangle. And for some reason, this doesn't allow you to edit the nodes. So if we go to our node edit mode here, you can see we have no corner nodes here. So if you try to edit those, it wouldn't let me. So to get around this, I'll go up to arrange and then come down to break apart. So click that. And now these are all broken apart here, individual lines. So now we just select this line that we don't want and click delete on your keyboard. That gets rid of that. And now we just have to connect everything back together. So now we're gonna select all of our shapes here by holding the shift key and selecting each one. And then we're gonna do the same technique. We're just gonna move the node and then move it back to snap them together. And you can see now they're connected. We'll do the same thing on each corner here. Move it and snap it back together. And then move and snap back. And then this one automatically connected. So now we zoom out here and now you can see we go back to our selection, we'll deselect. Now we have our shape created with an additional notch there. And that's how you can add and edit notches to fit your curve.